Mount Pleasant sits on a rise in the land overlooking downtown Vancouver. It's a transient neighborhood with people often moving several times in a year. In 1988, a community garden was created in three vacant lots by a small group of people. The garden created a place of intersection for people with very different backgrounds. Gardening together helped to dissolve barriers that can isolate us from one another. We were brought together on a whole cultural level by the plants that we grew. In June 1993, we were working in the art community with a small artist-run center named The Grunt. We went to see Marla Guppy's presentation of a neighborhood house she had worked with in Australia. The people there had made a garden fence with carved pickets. Our garden needed a new fence, so we used the Australian fence as a model for our project. We wrote many, many grants and were able to raise $55,000 from community development sources. A team was assembled to run the project. Charmian as publicist, Merle took care of the administration, and Haruko and I acted as the artist facilitators. By January, volunteers had translated the project information into six of the 14 or so major language groups found in the neighborhood. We invited artists to come and kick off the workshops. They transformed the four-inch wide pickets into works of art that inspired the whole project. People spent enormous amounts of time carving, sanding, and wood burning. Friendships were made as people learned new skills. When the students from the elementary school came in, we had volunteers working one-on-one -on -one with them. The kids loved it. People from all walks of life helped out where they felt comfortable. There was a wonderful sense of generosity about the project. The practical side of simply building a fence opened up many levels of participation. Eddie meticulously transferred designs from the cardboard pickets that were created at the outreach workshops. In March, we held an exhibition of the finished pickets. For many people, it was the first time that they had had their work in a gallery. By April, we started building the fence at the garden. I don't know what we're don't doing. Understand. We have no idea, <laughs> but that seems to be right. But we just figured it out. May 1st, Public Dreams led the community in a celebration. Oh.